Namaste. Today I'd like to share with you a small story about a Zen master we will call Akira. He lived in the mountains alone and had very few possessions. He just had his bowl and spoon and some very basic possessions. One day he was out fetching some water when a thief stumbled upon his house in the evening. It was evening time, the sun had set, the moon was just rising into the night sky and the thief enters the home looking for something to take and quickly realizes there's nothing here for him. There's nothing I can take. This man has nothing to take. And as he was leaving the small home, Akita uh, runs into him. He's literally coming in the door and runs into him. The thief gets into a little tussle and tries to escape. And Akita says, stop, stop, stop. He says, before you leave, I want to give you something. The thief slows down, turns around. And he says, please, 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 I don't want you to leave empty-handed. At least take the clothes that I have. This is all that I have. And he takes his clothes off and he hands his clothes to the thief. The thief, in uh, now feeling completely shamed and embarrassed, takes the clothes and slowly, with his head drooped, wanders away. Akita stands in the beautiful night sky and he, he looks up and he sees the moon. He's standing there butt-ass naked. And he's looking at the moon and he says, <sighs> I wish I could have given him the moon. In the time that we're living in, especially with all this COVID-19 stuff that's happening all around us, there is nothing we need more right now than self-realized individuals, those who have at least realized or awakened to the truth of who they are to the degree that they are not attaching to things that they are no longer grasping for things, hanging on to things. I've talked to many people and heard many conversations over the last handful of weeks of people stockpiling guns and ammunition and trying to make sure that they have the ability to protect their possessions, their home, their families, and things like that. If somebody came trying to get food from their house or came to rob them. And every single time I've heard these people say these things, I've stopped and said, send them to my home. I will give them all that I have. You see, when you recognize that you're more than this body and more than this mind, that this body and mind is just a vehicle of expression, then you let go of the attachments to things. And yes, people can still be things because they become an attachment in the mind. The only things that you fight to protect are the things that you're attached to. And as you begin in your mind to let go of identifying as the mind, identifying as the body, and then you let begin to let go of those attachments that so quickly ensnare you and so quickly bog you down and cause you to feel misery, cause you to feel angst. I mean, possessions will sometimes make you feel happy for a minute, but then they get old or they break. You get that new car and you're so excited about it, and, but, and, you, and you go into the store and you park it and you're so excited to show your friends later that day this brand new car and you come out of the store and somebody had run a shopping cart right into the side of your car. Ah, you're so angry now because your mind is attached to this car as if it is real, as if it matters at all. We attach in such way, the mind attaches in such way to possessions that we literally think of things like our home and our car and, and, and even our loved ones as if we cannot live without these things. I'm here to tell you today that there is a way out of this mess. There is a way out in your mind. And we can take this lesson of this story and we can begin to understand that there's nothing more beautiful than someone that has nothing. I have literally sat in the streets and taking off my clothes and hand them to the homeless. I was with a homeless man one time in Ohio, uh, Middletown, Ohio, and I was sitting there with him and he was all ragged. It's, it's one change of clothes that he had. His pants were all tore up and I, I stripped down right there in the street and I gave him my brand new, I had some brand new jeans and I just handed them to him. I said, you're about my size. Here you go. And he, whoa, whoa, whoa. He says, I can't take it. I can't take it. I said, no, it's no big deal. I have clothes at the hotel. It's no big deal. Please take my clothes. You see, we have got to begin to share and to give. In the realization of oneness, uh, I will love you and give to you in the same way that I would give to myself. After all, isn't this what Jesus meant when he said, love your neighbor 
as you love yourself. I hear a lot of people that quote these passages of Scripture, lots of sermons from churches and from the Christian faith that happen across the country and around the world every single Sunday, and yet I very rarely ever see someone authentically living the gospel, authentically living this truth, this reality, this ultimate reality out of this place of kingdom to the degree that they have no attachments and yet they give freely. Freely you have received, freely give. And so I am uh, sharing this story with you today in the hopes to stir up your heart to want to, instead of protecting the things that you're holding on to, let go of the things that you're holding on to. And in doing so, you'll be able to enjoy them much more thoroughly. I want to share one last story. I uh, love to ride motorcycles. I had a Kawasaki Ninja. And I, it was very fast. And I used to get on that motorcycle. And there was not a time I would get on that motorcycle where I was not doing 100, 120, 130 miles an hour just cruising. And I had another friend who upgraded his cruiser from a 1200 to an 1800 and he was telling me he said this bike is so powerful it's so strong this is so wonderful he said let's go riding together and so we were riding and very quickly I realized he was just gonna go the speed limit and he was not gonna take advantage full advantage of the power of the motorcycle and we were talking we were sitting in one of the parking lots just chatting about the bike and and he's like yeah man I haven't had this thing above 80 and I went, well, why not? He goes, well, man, I'm just, I don't, I'm really careful with it. I don't want to lay it down or I don't want to, you know, I, I'm, I'm really careful. And so I'm trying not to get on it a lot. And I thought to myself, how sad it is to be so attached to something that you can brag about the thing having so much power and yet never use the power, never tap into the power. You see, that's how it is with your attachments, even with people. When you become attached to people, instead of actually exploring the beauty of the the duality uh, of looking into the face of God. If duality ever served a purpose, it's so that God could stare into the face of God. But instead of enjoying these others to the fullness, you're always trying to protect this idea that they have about you, and you're trying to protect them, and, and you're trying to fight. It, it leads to all kinds of problems. In the same way with your possessions like the motorcycle. And so I'm encouraging you today especially in this time that we're living in right now, to share, to give, to give and to share with one another, to share with your neighbors, to share with even with your enemies, to realize that what you have is not yours, but it belongs to all of us. The food in my kitchen is not mine. It belongs to all of us. If you are hungry, come to my home. If you are thirsty, come to my home. If you need clothing, come to my home. I will give you whatever I can. So learn this lesson from Akito today. You see, the more we awaken, the more we play. But the more we awaken, the less we hang on to things. And let's share with one another. In this time that we're living in right now, let's share. Let's give. Let's allow a heart of love to bubble up and flow out of you to the rest of the world. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, subscribe to this video. Please subscribe to our channel, like the video, give us a thumbs up on the video, and share it with your friends and family. I feel like there's no greater message than this for the time that we're living in right now.